Hello and welcome to another Cars Guide long-term wrap-up. And this time, we have a car that you're really not all that interested in. Wait, 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 come back, come back. I don't mean the car. MG can barely make vehicles fast enough to keep up with demand at the moment, and this HS, it's no different. What I mean is the technology. This is the HS Plus EV, a plug-in hybrid, which promises all electric driving in the city with the backup of a petrol motor should you need to travel further afield. So if you're thinking about plugging into a plug-in hybrid, stay tuned. But first, the car. There is a cheaper one, the Excite, but this one is the essence and it gets all the best stuff and it's yours for around 53K drive away. And it adds cool stuff like the big panoramic sunroof, welcome lights that shine, this bright red MG logo on the ground every time you open the doors, full LED head and tail lights and bigger 18 inch alloys. Now the HS is a pretty tech heavy offering inside. There's this big central screen, it gets Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and there's this huge digital display in the dash as well. There's things like keyless entry and push button start, there's cool kind of shortcut toggles that feel quite nice, and of course there's USB connections galore. But while the tech is really good, it can also be a little glitchy at times. This screen went dark on me for a full day for no apparent reason, and then the next day just started working again. Apart from those little quirks, there is a lot of cool tech in here. But while the inside feels modern and tech focused with a huge amount of tech and lots of screens and a nice mix of materials, in my opinion the outside looks a little slab-sided and dull. Apart from of course this pretty cool looking 3D effect grille that really stands out at the front. It's not to say it's offensive at all but it just doesn't really grab you if you know what I mean. Now it might be a fairly modern powertrain, but it's all old school practicality back here. I'm sitting behind my own 175 centimeter driving position. And as you can see, there is miles of leg room and I've got enough headroom too. Now backseat riders also get their own air vents and two USB charging points to keep those devices topped up. And I especially like this little trick in the pull down divider, which reveals not only two more cup holders, but also an extra little storage space for the backseat riders to share. Now step around to the boot and you'll find a really big, wide and unique usable space and if you lower these back seats that number will swell to 1275 litres which really should be more than enough for anything you need to carry. Now this is a family SUV with a difference because not only do you get the 1.5 litre turbo petrol engine but you also get an electric motor and a lithium ion battery as well. Now it's nowhere near as big as the battery you'd find in a full EV for example but it is enough to deliver an all electric driving range of 63 kilometres. And should you run out of battery well the petrol engine takes over and on you drive which is kind of the whole point of a plug-in hybrid. Now if you plug into a wall box at home the kind of thing most EV owners install it should take about five hours to recharge these batteries but I don't have one of those and the truth is you don't need one either you can just plug it into a normal wall socket and I found a recharge would take about nine hours perfect then for overnight charging in terms of driving though the MG HS is a refreshingly boring affair and I don't mean that as a bad thing I mean that it's comfortable enough quiet and enough powerful enough just without setting new benchmarks in any of those things what I do really like though is this EV mode. When you push it, the petrol engine vanishes and you go straight into electric vehicle mode. And I tell you, it is kind of addictive as is watching the battery meter rise and fall as well. Now I do have a sneaking suspicion about most plug-in hybrid owners and that is that a lot of them plug it in once and then never plug it in again. So for my first month with this car, that's exactly what I did. Fully charged it and then didn't plug it in again and I was averaging about 9 litres per 100 kilometres which isn't all that great. So the second month I plugged it in all the time and then just let the car figure out what to do. So I didn't hit EV mode, I just let the car figure out what power source it wanted to use and that drop fuel used to around 6.9 litres per 100 which is better. Then on the third Third month I did what I think you really should do if you drive a plug-in hybrid and that is I plugged it in every night and every morning engaged EV mode as soon as I got in the car and that's where things got interesting over about 400 kilometers my average fuel use was one liter per hundred kilometers which is really really impressive it's a pretty strong safety offering here, including MG Pilot, which bundles all the high-tech safety kit together, things like AEB, Lane Keep Assist, and Intelligent Cruise Control, to deliver you semi-autonomous driving on freeways. And it's also a five-star ANCAP rated car, with the caveat being that that rating was applied back in 2019. 
The MG HS EV Plus is covered by a seven year unlimited kilometer warranty and so is the lithium ion battery. Now servicing is required every 10,000 Ks or once a year. And with cap price servicing, the first five years of ownership should cost you around 1600 bucks. So the big question, should you spring for the MG HS EV Plus or you're better off with one of the cheaper petrol powered models? Well, it depends and you're gonna have to be really honest with yourself. If you're gonna plug it in every night and use EV mode as much as possible, then the fuel savings can be immense. But if you're the type of person who's likely to plug it in once and then never plug it in again, it just doesn't make quite so much sense. Now remember, this is just scratching the surface. So if you want all the details on this car and thousands of others just like it, make sure you check out carsguide.com.au.